everyone. Hey, today we're making lemon ice cream. I know it's everybody's favorite time of year to eat ice cream, so that's what we're doing today, but this was requested by one of my viewers. Her name is Susan Gillenwater. Thank you, Susan, for requesting this. I'm happy to make it. We're gonna make it as nice and creamy and just delicious as we can, and I, I hope you all like it. I have a question for you though. I wanna know, have any of you ever seen lemon ice cream in the grocery store? You know, Briars or Dryers, you know, the, the, the name brands that, you know, that are out there. I have never seen it. Let me know down in the comments if you have. I'd like to hear about it and where you're from. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make some really delicious lemon ice cream right after this. Before we go over the ingredients, I just want to mention to all you lemon lovers out there that I have a playlist of many lemon recipes that I want you to check out. You can find that by clicking. There's a little link right up here, and there's always that one in the description of the video as well as the written recipe. So make sure you check it out down there. Click where it says show more, and you'll see all kinds of information, you know, my social media and the written recipe and links to even products. So check that out. All right, here's the ingredients for this recipe. First up, we have some organic whipping cream. We're using whipping cream and half and half. We're gonna use a combination. Then we have some lemon zest. I'm using organic lemons here because I don't want pesticides in my lemon. Now, we do have an option here with our zest. We can either leave it in our final product. You'll notice that it's got a little bit of something to chew there, or you can take it out. You can strain it out, however you want to do it. Next up, we'll need some lemon juice. I'm using organic, of course, vanilla extract, sugar. I've got some egg yolks over here. And my last ingredient is limoncello. And this is a lemon liqueur that uh, has a nice little lemony flavor to it. And what the limoncello will do is the alcohol content in it will help keep your ice cream from freezing rock solid and it'll be easier to scoop out. We do need an ice cream maker for our recipe, so I do have a Cuisinart right here and uh, we'll be using that. Remember to freeze your insert you know, overnight so that it's ready to go when you're ready to churn your ice cream. So we gotta do a little cooking here. I've got my heavy whipping cream right here. I'm gonna pour it into my saucepan. And here's our half and half. Now I'm gonna put my temperature on low. I'm gonna add the sugar and the lemon zest. Now this is where we're gonna get that really beautiful, intense lemony flavor again from this. So we're gonna, we're gonna cook this. We don't wanna bring this to a boil, we just wanna bring it to a simmer. And we want that sugar to just dissolve into the mixture. Now once this comes to a simmer, we're gonna cook it for just three to five minutes. So I turn the heat up just a little bit. It's not on low, it's a little above that. I wanna get this to simmer, just a little bubble going on on the edges, and then we'll start our five, you know, three to five minute timer. What we don't wanna do is burn this cream. So you wanna stir it constantly. All right, so I've been cooking this now for about five minutes. So I'm gonna turn off the heat, and I'm gonna cover it and let it sit for about 20 minutes. Our mixture's been sitting now for 20 minutes. We take the lid off and we need to bring it back up to a simmer again. So I'm gonna turn the heat on and we need to get the temperature back up because now we're gonna temper the eggs. I'm gonna turn off the heat. Now, you wanna take your egg yolks and blend them up, break them, mix them up. And I'm gonna take a little bit of my cream mixture while I'm whisking at the same time and I'm gonna pour just a little bit in there. So we're slowly raising the temperature. Just make sure you keep whisking the whole time, okay? Another scoop or so, and then I'm gonna pour this mixture back in. And I gotta put this back on the heat. All right, and again, we'll just pour this into this mixture. I've got it on medium-low right now. And if you do happen to get a little lump or two in your mixture, you can always strain it out later. All right, so I got my temperature on medium low. We're gonna cook this for about 10 minutes or so or until this mixture, you know, cooks, the eggs have gotta cook a bit and it coats the back of my spoon. 
All right, I think you can see here how this has gotten pretty thick, right? And there's a couple of bubbles. There were a couple of bubbles in there, but I've been stirring it, tending to this constantly. I haven't let it go. I don't want it to burn. And you can see how it's now coating the, the spoon, right? The back of the spoon, and you take your finger and you go like that, and you taste your finger, of course. It tastes yummy. And uh, you can see that there's a nice line there. So we're gonna turn the heat off. And this was cooking about six minutes. And now I'm gonna add my vanilla extract. I'm gonna stir that in. And then I'm gonna let this cool for just a minute. And then I'm gonna place it into a bowl or some mason jars, whatever you wanna use to chill down. Cause we have to let this chill before we can put it in the fridge. Now, ideally you probably wanna chill this overnight. I'm gonna try and speed this up by using a, an ice water bath and uh, so we can keep going. All right, I'm gonna put mine in mason jars, so here we go. I'm just gonna pour this in so that I can get it cooled off. All right, so we're ready to start churning our ice cream. I've got my insert that has been in the freezer, so it's frozen solid. I'm gonna put it in my machine. Now I've got my mix here that's cold, and at this point, Notice we have not added in our lemon juice yet, so we're gonna do that now, and it is chilled as well. So I'm gonna pour it into my bowl with the ice cream mix. Here's the limoncello, and I need to stir that in. Once that's mixed in, we're just gonna pour it into our machine. I'm gonna turn it on. Let me put in my churn piece there, turn it on, and then we're going to mix this until it's thickened up or it's somewhere between 15 and 20 minutes. All right, we've got billowing of ice cream in here. It looks incredible. Now this is pretty soft, I think. It's gonna be that way, probably partly because of the alcohol in it. And you can see here, it's definitely soft serve. So I'm just gonna place it into my shallow dish. That'll help keep it um, from getting really hard in the freezer, along with the little bit of alcohol. Now with the limoncello, if you don't wanna put that in or you can't find it or you, you know, you're just not gonna do that, you can use all lemon juice. Okay, so no worries there. I just did it because I wanted to keep it soft in the freezer, or softer, so that it makes serving it easier. Look at this, look at this. It is nice and creamy. I love soft serve, how about you guys? Let me know down in the comments. And I'm gonna take a taste right out of this dish. I wanna get this in the freezer and let it firm up a little more, then I can scoop it out. But let me take a taste and tell you how it is. That has just the right amount of tartness with sweetness. It is creamy. Susan, you are gonna love this. I know you asked for a nice creamy smooth ice cream. This is it. Man, the flavors are just, just bursting with flavor. <laughs> Super good, guys. Try the recipe. I think you're gonna love it. And uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. All right, so that's our lemon ice cream. I hope you enjoyed it. Susan, thanks for requesting it. And let me know in the comments how you liked it. And uh, if any of you have any requests for me, be sure and leave them down below in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. And uh, for those of you that have not subscribed to my channel yet and you'd like to see more, click the subscribe button right over here at the end of the video or down below the video. And also don't forget to click that bell. That bell notifies you when new videos come out every week. So thanks again, everybody. I do appreciate you and we'll see you next time.